Right. So Looks like we are going to small battlefield here. It seems Pika Chris willing to uh, leave the PS2 for this one. And we're getting the Bayonetta. Yeah, 22-9 head-to-head. Okay, yeah, you were saying that before. PK Chris definitely with a sizable lead in their spread, but could change all today. I know Amaryllis has been shooting their shot. I mean, everyone here is shooting their shot. Damn right, baby. But I think we're kind of left with three Long Island players. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Wait, that is crazy. Long Island's a strong region. <laughs> Zamba was out of town. I mean, well, that's, you know, true. Also, a lot of the big New York goons are out of town. Yeah, very true. God, good damage to start. Ness being so floaty, you're going to get these extensions that come high. Witch Twist is going to carry you upwards. You're going right. to be able to pop into Nair, Fair, whatever you want. It's going to be scary for Ness to deal with. It's so interesting how in some matchups the floatiness really hurts, and in others, you know, because you're in less tech situations, it really hurts. Right. I mean, it really helps. Uh, I guess looking for those down smash two frames, too, could be a factor, right? When you get these uppies with slightly predictable timings, you know, you, you can mix up when you hit yourself with the PK Thunder a little bit, but sometimes you just get a little bit of a read on it, and it's over. Another F smash. I mean, oh um, my wow. god, called out with up smash on that ABK down onto his head. It felt like Amaryllis was just throwing him out a little bit with those F smashes. Good. Oh man, forces that air dodge, huge. That oh my so god, good. But not, also not eating the thunder there, which I thought might have happened in the ABK. Yeah, very interesting. Back air, not quite gonna close. Sending off stage, no chase. Kind of taken away by Ness Fair recovering. He saw him miss the down smash, instantly just pivoted and was looking for like a jump call back air. Right there, had the immediate call out with up smash, but it whiffed. That's scary. PK Chris has that download on it's those ABKs. I mean, because PK Chris knows that Amaryllis wants the ABK down. Yeah. You know? Clearly they... Oh, oh my god, normal get up call out hard with Bayo F smash. Oh. That's within, nothing more. A little bit of a heel kick again, looking for those. Ooh, down tilt grab. They lead to such free extensions and follow ups, but man, is it when you hit that heel kick on shield, you're about to eat it. Amaryllis is having some good patience when they're recovering off stage. Not getting caught by Nestor and out a bunch of hitboxes, saving those options that Bale has to recover, being creative. It's huge in this matchup. Oh my god, uh, no! No! Dude, that's it. It's like it happens so much more than we think it should, you know? where it feels like you get that free hit on Ness, but then somehow it just it's barely right makes when the it. Thunder's there, yeah. you know? All right, PK Chris with a two to one stock lead. Oh my God, the hella delayed down smash. Can you two frame with Bayo down tilt? Can you do like a down tilt bear? You might be able to. Maybe it's, you know, percents or whatever. Oh, ah, good drift in. That one. All right, PK Chris looking to close out this game one. Two stocks to one, taking Amarillo's offstage again, getting a lot of mileage out of this PK Thunder now. That's uh, two that's in a so row. Hard. Uh, oh, oh my, my god. god! What is this call out? What? Yeah, I don't even like how did what is the how did PK Chris decide to do this? Just the the, the tried and true run up, turn around bat. Dude, like dash back way before Amaryllis was like even choosing to roll. Charges F Smash. What is this? Dash is so early and starts charging F Smash. Knew that was that was pure. Just I I knew what was gonna happen. <laughs> that was crazy. Dude. I I don't even understand. I guess we're a little frozen up there, but that's crazy. Uh, yeah. I mean, really, dude. really just had the call. Out. Yeah, I don't know. A hundred percent. I, I can't even back. explain that one. <laughs> Those dashbacks are wild. Like when you just you like call out a double roll or a roll, and you immediately get there and set up for the punish. Yeah, that's where you get the real juicy ones. All right, PK Chris, you know, good first game one, but PK Chris definitely with uh, with the advantage. I felt a lot of confidence in how he's dealing with Bayo. Definitely felt that way. Um, we'll see. It doesn't really feel like Amaryllis has let up on the game plan, but definitely throwing out a few more smash attacks. I think fishing for something. Maybe just finding it difficult to get those openings. Ooh. Oh, oh the that's off the huge. top, right? Oh, no, no. Great DI. Not going to kill. A little too so early close. percent, yeah. Good it's mixy movement on the platforms. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, looking for something there. Maybe a deep nair. Doesn't find it. Whoa! Jeez. Damn bear off that uh, down tilt charge. Or down tilt uh, extension with the guns. ABK down, not punished, but still in the corner. PK Chris exerting a lot of pressure right now. Fair back to the other side. Amaryllis can't find their way back. But here it is. Oh, had the air dodge call out, but tried to punish with nair. Wow. Again, up parry tilt. ABK up tilt. Man, it's these smart. It puts great. you right above him. You know, it's, it's exactly the right move. Yep. But here we are, 0-0 zero, zero on the second stock. Oh, ah! my God, on the backside hit. That would have killed if it would have set right, and I'm surprised it didn't. Oh, my God. <laughs> or if there was, like, 30 more percent on Amaryllis. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. 
Is there an edge guard at play here? Went for a uh, witch time. Doesn't quite find it. God, they're ah. clicking so much. Jesus. Dare up there. Nice capitalization. PK Chris with a nice little lead for game two. Yeah, it's like Amaryllis really wanted that hard F smash read on like an air dodge or something, but absolutely losing the stock for Ooh, it. Ooh, this is a good call out, but oh, PK Chris getting out, coming inside. At this point, it's got to be like an up tilt bear or something. Yeah, wow, look at Scott. that. Whoa. Um, I, whoa, I can see the whoa. future. I can see the future, guys. Uh, my so oh, Ooh, huge, huge, big damage. Air dodges up through. Very nice from PK Chris. All right. Amarillo's taking the percent lead, maybe for the first time this set. I'm not totally sure. I think he might be right. But we're very, very close. Both of them slowing down the pace a little bit, but Amarillo's then snaps, finds an ABK down. Oh, God, we're uh, back in the corner. It's Chris now on the edge guard. Whoa, oh, oh my God, God. that was had, so close. Trying to get to the plat and be like, just please get me out of here. Not trying to challenge that one anymore. God, got to be careful with those ABKs in neutral. PK Chris has been. Ah, uh, is that. Oh, we're vibing? Okay. Nice delay on that to make it back. No! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. No! No! Wow, 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 wow. Looking for these double stomps <laughs> on a tech roll, but not quite finding it. Oh, there's an ABK out. Dude, this is insane. Oh, my, oh my God. God. He's too small. small. <laughs> Goes for Magnet right there, trying to get an extension. Beautiful. Dude, I <laughs> my drop's hit. I can't keep up with this. ABK out, and we're going up one more time. Percent's totally even once more. Parry on the nair, but there's no follow-up. Oh, oh. Osmash going to kill. And PK Chris goes up 2-0 over Amarillos after some weird interactions this last game. A lot of clinks, a lot of clinks. I, lot I of can't traits. believe Ness just like sat f full stand, not even crouching, under that f <laughs> Dude, I know. Landed right in Bayo's face. Just <laughs> under, like right in the armpit, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, God. It, it really feels like these F smashes are not helping Amaryllis in these sets. Yeah. Except on that one normal get up call out. I yes. think in game one. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, it's tough. It's, it's been heart harming a lot. It's like you want it because Ness, Ness has like all these disjointed moves. So you kind of toss out a huge disjoint to try and catch, catch Nair f or Ness faring in or tossing out a PK fire and you're going to hit through it. Like it's, it's a tempting move. It just move. feels like the floatiness so many times are allowing PK Crystal to like drift into situations where it's just not working. Yeah. Nice up tilt on the plat. Double, triple up okay. there and the side ABK B. ABK out and we're going up. Oh my top. God. That's got to be it. No what? way. How is that not dead? Whatever PK Chris is doing on the SDI is working. That was a, that was a great extension from the initial start from those three up airs. Oh my god, uh, oh my god. Again. I mean, that might have worked. Uh, kind of burning a witch time there. I thought it was going to be an up tilt. We just get a witch twist. Oh, uh, getting punished on that dare. Oh man, that one's sending out, actually. Dude, these PK Thunders are... I thought they were supposed to send in. Yeah, okay. Maybe it's based on the way Ness is facing. Really hard for Amarillis to be able to deal with that off stage. Dash attack almost closing. Oh, okay. Good idea, but punished for it. PK Chris ready for that up tilt on shield. There we all go. Right. Answer right back. Look, Amaryllis is keeping all these games incredibly competitive. You wouldn't know it because it's 2-0 in PK Chris's favor. But I think with just a little bit of elbow grease, Amaryllis takes us all the way. Yeah. We saw it against numbers. We saw the climb back from 2-0. Yeah. Uh, that's exactly what happened. You're right. We could be in for it again. Being real careful. Trying yeah, to maintain center. Really slowing it down. But a risky ABK in. Finally. Gets a connection. ABK and back. But risky business. Okay. Another one. Oh, trade. Still going to work out in Amaryllis' favor here. Oh, I like that. Okay, not going to get punished for that smash. Delayed fair to send off stage. Not much of a chase. Trying Are to be safe. Are we going to look for a down smash, maybe? No. Just, Just looking for around. a back air. Uh, oh. That oh. one looked like it had potential, but... Uh-oh. God, no immediate punish. Trying to go for something fancy off the top. Maybe a footstool out of... PK fire. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> crazy stuff be happening. That was like, I think, an up smash startup. Yeah, real close to killing. Ah, yeah. Okay, Amarillo's just ejecting out of there, being right next to Ness. Percent's extremely even once more, ah. but a deep fair. It's going to be PK Chris who finds it first. Dire straights for Amarillo's here. Maybe on tournament stock. Can Amarillo's find the opening to close this one out? Ooh. Wow. Wanted it. Wow, oh. okay. All right. That I mean, that's what Amaryllis wanted before. Yep. All right, here we are again, 0-0. This seems to be a recurring theme 
Hopefully Amaros has something in the bag that can catch PK Chris off guard to take this stock as fast as possible. Oh, gets the up air follow up, but air dodges through Ooh, the up beat. Caught at the very end of that PK fire, but now caught in a heel kick. No, very no follow up. I guess that is, it's nice sometimes to be floaty because you get some weird extensions, but also popping out of some things that Amaros yeah. is probably so used to going for on usual characters. It's true. Nice air dodge in to avoid an up air. Nice little mix on the approach angle, but the percent is still mounting in PK Chris's favor. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, see, only finding like a single witch twist there. It feels like you should be able to get so much more. Okay, Going Chris. low to survive the thunder here. Yeah, tossing these out. So scary because if you hit that at the right position, PK Chris can get an up air on that pop-up. Ah, ah, bear to close. Bear calls out the ABK and just like that. God, great win to PK Chris. Strong five matches from Amaryllis. Looking, you know, I, the whole time I thought there was potential to bring it back, but PK Chris was so strong at closing it when it mattered. You yeah. know, Definitely has that X factor, you know, tightens up in these clutch moments. Yeah, like that was a that was a great catch with back air on an ABK and nice knowing to drift in a little bit, catch that bear on the end lag of ABK. 100%. Uh, but huge.